the session. So I'll now hand over to my colleagues Kual and Dahir, who will talk about studying ESOL at Harrow College. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Kaval and I teach in the ESOL department. Um, we recognize at Harrow College that no matter what career path you choose, you will need some good, strong English, maths and digital skills, which is why we have expanded our provision to include a range of full-time and part-time courses for all our young learners, whether you are new to the country or you need some more help with your English and maths, we have something for everybody here at Harrow College. Next slide, please. So we have a range of full-time courses for young people, 16 upwards, and we also have part-time day and evening courses. Um, my colleague Dahir will now speak to you more about our full-time provision at um, beginner's level and foundation level. And then I will speak more about uh, provision at entry three level. So over to you, Dahir. Thank you, Kowal. Uh, so welcome to ESOL at Harrow College, everyone. So I'm just going to talk to you through the full-time courses um, that we have. So these are for 16 to 18 year olds. Um, they, they are all one year courses starting from September to June. Um, and this is um, 16 hours per week um, over four days. Uh, so the two main qualifications that um, the, um, the, the, the young foundation courses uh, uh, work towards, it's so from pre-entry to entry level two, um, they work towards ESOL uh, uh, skills for life qualification and maths. Uh, and in addition to this, we also have a weekly uh, tutorial. So this is a two hour uh, lesson, which covers wide range of holistic, uh, you know, skills development uh, and, and, and also uh, discussions around current uh, affairs and, and, and topics. So, uh, and in addition to that, they also do um, assignments, which is portfolio based and work module starting from entry level one. Um, so uh, for the beginners, so this, that's from entry one to entry uh, two, beginners do uh, Workforce two qualification, which is uh, um, uh, useful skills for life, for speaking and listening and maths, numbers, and, um, um, and entry three, I think we will discuss that more uh, in, in the further, you know, for the next slides. Uh, thank you, Karen. Uh, could you move to the next yeah. slide? Thank you. Okay. Uh, so for the entry uh, three full-time courses, we have got uh, various uh, different topics, uh, you know, uh, sorry, subjects. So that's, uh, for example, um, we've got IT uh, as a vocational subject. So IT, business, uh, childcare, Signs um, and Kowal, have I missed any others out? Is that those those four? Um, well, um, no, but uh, yeah. we 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 look at the demand um, and we adjust our provision accordingly. So, for example, we had art and drama in the previous years, but this year there was more demand for IT and business, so we increased our provision over two groups, um, both studying IT and business. And there was another group which was for IT um, students only. Uh, we've also got a basic science um, course at entry level, which leads to GCSE science package or um, to level one, level two VTech. So on the vocational courses, which are 35 weeks long, you will study uh, 17 hours a week over four days, and you will study ESOL, maths, and a vocational subject of your choice, which could be IT, business, childcare, or science. You'll also have your weekly tutorials, and we have a dedicated tutor 
who, who will help you not only with your study, but will also help you um, in your, with your personal issues and any other um, area that you might wish to discuss that might be affecting your studies, whether it is mental health or whether it's housing that you're worried about. Um, we have um, help within the college um, and the tutor is your first port of call and she will put you in touch with uh, other people within the college or outside who will be able to help you. Um, as part of your uh, entry three um, course, you will also go for one week work experience. This usually happens in May, and that is a very good opportunity for you to really see whether the, the vocation um, that you hope to pursue, if it's really the one that you wish to study. Because um, if not, then after entry three, you have the opportunity to study a different course at level one. Um, with regards to digital skills, we're all going through the pandemic and that's really helped us to develop our digital skills. So when you join and hopefully um, uh, if there's no lockdown and we're able to see you face to face, uh, we will be able to link you up on uh, our digital platforms that we have in the college, whether that's Moodle or Google Classroom, because if we were to have another lockdown, we would be ready to deliver our lessons online and you will be ready to pick up uh, your tasks and submit via the digital platforms that, we have, uh, that are available to us. So that usually ha uh, happens in the first couple of weeks after you join us and uh, after you've had the induction. Next slide, please. So um, these are some of the vocational areas and it gives you an idea of uh, the kind of uh, career paths that our students um, choose, um, whether it's childcare setting or in retail. Um, in the past, we've had uh, students uh, pursuing higher studies in art and drama, tourism, uh, so really, um, after you have studied with us at Entry 3, you could pursue any area, any uh, vocation at Level 1. And if you've really made excellent pro progress over the year, um, you could even jump to Level 2. That's a possibility because uh, where progression is concerned, we've got very good uh, progression routes into mainstream. Um, within the college, whether it's at Harrow or in Uxbridge. Next slide, please. Um, we also have a full-time GCSE science package, again for 16 to 19 years old, um, where you will you will be, you'll study for five qualifications, ESOL and GCSE in maths, biology, chemistry, and physics. Um, this is a very good course for those who not only want to improve their English, um, but who may have studied a little bit of science in their own country, uh, but don't have the English to really um, pursue the GCSE main course um, program. So this course, um, the teachers are very well equipped uh, in dealing with students who don't have English as the first language. So you will be supported throughout uh, in your language skills and in uh, the science subjects. Next slide, please. Uh, progression again, um, after you have completed uh, entry three with us, 16 to 19, uh, we will offer you progression to level one courses within the college and we have a range of courses for you to choose. Uh, from experience, students have happily gone on to study IT, whether it's level one or two, business, art and media, sports, construction, plumbing, electrical, science, childcare, hair and beauty, just to name a few of the areas that they've successfully progressed on to. 
And um, when they complete level three in Harrow College, a lot of our students from ESOL background have progressed on to university to study degree level courses. GCSE science students can progress to level three applied sciences, or they could progress to A level science. Next slide, please. Uh, I'm going to hand you over to Dahir now, who will talk about maths on our full time courses. Thank you, Kawa. Um, yeah, so maths is a big focus, um, you know, within within ESOL. So um, we we do functional skills maths in on, on the full time courses. Now the uh, levels range from uh, entry one um, up to uh, level one or GCSE maths for the higher levels. Um, now the levels are based on uh, diagnosis, diagnostics results uh, at the beginning of your course uh, and, and also uh, based on, on previous qualifications that you've had. So for uh, the pre-entry uh, uh, courses, the full-time pre-entry courses, we focus on uh, a maths numbers qualification from entry one to entry level Three, it's a functional uh, skills. Sorry, for up to level one, functional skills, and um, and then GCSE uh, maths uh, is also included uh, for the higher levels. Okay, uh, could you go to the next slide, please? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, now we take pride in what we do, um, and first in, uh, impression surveys that we have carried out showed a, a very high uh, level of a success, success, satisfactory score. And um, these are some of the testimonials uh, that um, we have uh, uh, collected from previous and current students. So I would just like to take, uh, give you a minute uh, to read uh, through what some of the students uh, uh, taught. Okay, so um, these are only a very few that we could have collected, but there are, of course, a lot more success stories uh, from, from our previous and current uh, students. Um, next slide, please. Thank you. So where the situation permits, we, um, we celebrate and share, uh, you know, our students' cultural heritage. Um, and by... Um, by uh, d doing this project called Expo, uh, you know, in the autumn terms. Uh, but that of course has been difficult uh, this year due to the pandemic, but uh, we do um, have different teams, uh, different years where all of our students um, uh, take part uh, in this. Okay, and, and, and the pictures that you could see are some of the um, uh, uh, previous uh, Expo projects. Uh, that the students have uh, uh, taken part in. Next slide, please. So um, we do have a, a wide range of courses on our part-time um, adult courses. So this is for the 19 plus. Now for the part-time uh, day pre-entry courses, it's uh, a 35 weeks course, uh, six hours weekly, uh, spread across two to three days, and uh, this is uh, a focus uh, uh, on, on, on speaking and listening uh, qualification skills for life. Um, at uh, between entry one to entry level, uh, entry one to up to entry level one, um, we do have three different semesters, uh, um, and um, there are about seven different qualifications. Uh, that you uh, could work towards on these courses. Um, so the semesters are from September to June. They are 10 hours weekly spread across three days um, over the week. Um, the qualifications that we focused on uh, that students work towards the speaking and listening, reading, uh, writing, that's living and working in the UK, uh, digital skills, um, uh, which is crucial, uh, um, uh, especially for um, 
uh, developing students' IT skills, um, which uh, a lot of it focused on, on this year and last year, and also uh, employability skills. We also have volunteering uh, courses for level one, uh, which is portfolio based and um, and students also um, where where the situation permits are offered um, uh, volunteering roles within the college or with outside agencies. Next slide, please. Uh, for our level two daytime uh, part time day courses, it's uh, also uh, three semesters. Uh, uh, across um, uh, eight hours uh, weekly, and the focus of of, of, of the level two qualifications uh, uh, are five different qualifications: so speaking and listening, reading, writing, employability skills, and also volunteering. Uh, next slide, please. So, for uh, our part-time evening. Um, so for the pre-entry courses, we have, uh, this is again for uh, the, the adults, 19 plus. Uh, pre-entry is uh, 35 weeks, uh, um, uh, six hours uh, uh, of study uh, on site uh, weekly. From entry level one uh, to, sorry, from entry level one to level one, uh, this is spread across two semesters, um, six hours a week. Uh, so that's uh, Tuesday to Thursdays from uh, 6.15. Uh, there are five different qualifications for this. Uh, speaking and listening, reading, writing. Uh, maths is uh, at entry level only. So uh, this is from entry one to entry level three. And um, then we uh, also on semester two, um, you'd be able to take part in the digital skills for work qualification. Um, and uh, I'm now going to hand you over to my colleague, Kowal. Kowal, over to you. Thank you, Tahir. Um, at this point, I think I would like to uh, stress that um, in Harrow College and in ESOL department, we're not just looking at developing your language and math skill, but we want to develop the attributes that are very important um, in life and at work. So um, we're looking at developing your team working skills, your communication skills, your ability to solve problems, um, your resilience and um, your ability to deal uh, with um, time management and um, skills uh, and qualities that will really help you in the workplace. Um, and um, we're also, uh, we, so we have within, within the curriculum, um, we have uh, plenty of opportunity to help you develop these skills, whether it's through role play or whether it's um, written coursework or case studies, um, whether it's accessing and submitting work on Google Classroom, um, um, it, there, these are all opportunities where we help our learners to build their digital skills and their work um, skills. With regards to um, how uh, you will learn within the classroom situation, um, as long as uh, we are meeting on site in the classroom, you will have opportunity for write, writing, um, for reading, for face-to-face -face interaction, of course, maintaining social distancing, and um, where, uh, where we're following the government guidance, wearing face covering, but you will have opportunity to develop these skills. And if we were to go remotely, um, and if we were to start the living remotely, because there's another lockdown, we will be able to um, help you develop those skills and achieve your qualification no matter what. Um, so um, we've been through two lockdowns and our students have continued to work. We worked very hard with Zoom. Um, we've used Zoom successfully. We've used the Google Classroom and um, other platforms. And our students are 
um, very, very close to achieving this year as well. And um, not only because of the hard work and dedication of the staff, but our learners are very, very um, committed um, to ensuring that they achieve their qualification. Um, do you have portfolios on our um, courses? So it's a balance of exams and uh, all year uh, continuous tasks to say so you build a platform which is used as evidence um, to apply for your achievement and qualification. You'll work in pairs, you'll work in groups. Um, if we go um, remotely, you'll work uh, with your teacher on Zoom lessons. Uh, you'll have presentations um, and you will have opportunity to develop your math skills as well. Um, we, we use um, quizzes, um, we will have tests. Um, so we, um, we are on top of your ability and see where, where, which areas you need more help um, and we're there for you. Next slide, please. So we are all looking forward to welcoming you um, when you come we will assess you. Um, there will be a writing test. We will also interview you. This is just to be able to offer you a course at the right level. We'll need to know your previous qualifications and we will also ask you about your interests. Um, based on that, we will then offer you a course and you will be called to come in to complete your enrollment. The uh, courses will start in September, but you will get all the information before that. If you have any questions, um, you're welcome to ask. Okay. Thank you, well, and here, just stop sharing. So yeah, we hope you found this session useful. And if you have any questions, please put into the chat and we'll aim to answer those. Um, I can't see any questions at the moment. I know um, someone's got their hand up. If you can just put the question that you'd like to ask in the chat box, please, and then we'll, we'll answer it from there. Okay. In the meantime, I'll just give you a bit more additional information. So if you would like um, to view a more detailed course information, then please visit our website at www.harrow.ac.uk forward slash courses. And if you're ready to apply, we are accepting applications online and online is the easiest way to do so. So please visit our website um, and head to the course that you're interested in and then click the orange button to apply. If you would like support and advice before you join the college, please get in touch. The email is in the chat box and you can also find this on our website as well. Okay, don't see any more, don't see any questions. Well, we hope you enjoyed this session and please do, do check out our other curriculum sessions that we have running. Um, if you are interested in our new T-levels, our apprenticeships or our um, higher education through the West London Institute of Technology, then join our live sessions on the 30th of March. You can register through the website. And I think we'll round everything up for just now. Um, if you have any, if you think of any questions, then you can um, email the inquiries email or the email for advice and support. Um, and yeah, that's all for today and we look forward to welcoming you to Harrow College.